All right, let's talk about frequency and light and energy and so forth. Well, everybody, most everybody understands this, what they call frequency is the distance of the wave. When they're very compact and tight together, you're way high up in the energy range. Gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet, that hurts you. It's bang, it hits you so hard. Well, this sort of lazily comes through. So radio waves, yeah, no problem. See, penetrates Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, come on down, no problem. Just go through as much as you want. Everything's fine. You get up to about here. You're just starting to get into the microwave range. And it says, no, no more. And how come it doesn't come through the atmosphere? Why? Say, why can't you come through? Penetrates Earth's atmosphere. No, you cannot. Why don't you penetrate? Because you hit molecules of oxygen and hydrogen and water which is way out in the outer atmosphere and it stops you because if you got all the way down to earth you would be splitting the water molecules down here now we are really worried about biological invasion and that's what i was worried about too and i started looking into it and it certainly can damage very thin skinned things like insects and and um, bacteria and so forth. No question whatsoever. You can kill it and destroy it and cause all kinds of problems with microwaves. Now, and it cooks your tea. <laughs> it works very well and almost instantly. And because of its, its distance of the wave is just enough to snap off the hydrogen molecules and split up the particles and create huge volumes where there was compaction. 1,700 times pew, bigger. So what does that mean for our atmosphere? They're going to saturate the, the Earth's surface with these things, and every time they got them on, which is 24-7, 1,700 times bigger every water molecule will become. That's not going to be good. They're even talking about changes in how they can forecast for the weather because they're going to be adding so much moisture into the, into the zones that they use. Look, at currently, proposed, at currently proposed 5G power levels, satellites may have trouble reading natural signals given off by water vapor just from the Earth. It could set back forecasting to levels last seen around 1980s. <laughs> It result in reduction of hurricane tracking by roughly two to three days. They have no idea. They're going to be creating water vapor on the earth, and they just don't understand what that is going to create. That is nothing more than pressure. It's like boiling water. And that's exactly the same thing that's happened when you create CO2. CO2 is, a, is nothing more than pressurized gas. Now, this is about the health of 5G, but there's so much more to it. It's amazing. It says, due to the complexity of the waveforms, there will have to be many towers built every two to eight houses. The complexity of the waveforms is it hits water, and the water molecules become disturbed, and they grow by 1,700 times. This will increase the radio frequency exposure from the multitude and density of these towers needed to support this network. not supposed to be on the Earth. These frequencies cause premature aging, injury to the human body, including damage to brains, fertility, heart. They're not supposed to be here. They're shaking these molecules that are supposed to be stable. Oh, man, it goes on and on and on and on. Now, it sits down here. This is where I found the six-month thing. It says, all these different stimulation things, they found all these things happen. So several studies have shown that radio frequency exposure for one to two months may have a relatively modest impact on biological health, but these changes could be reversed after removing the trigger, which is the microwaves. However, after six months or more, there are irreversible effects on neurons and the brain. These results suggest that the changes induced by pulsed electromagnetic frequencies accumulate over time with harmful long-term effects. Technology is a fundamental part of our society, so we must make an attempt to limit and protect ourselves where we can. Now, then they're saying, here's how you try to do this. Well, let's find out if it really is this damaging. Maybe we should make some other accommodation here. 